Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Quill Korea, as best Korea is is also China. Not to be confused <clears throat> with our Hoi 4 run, which is Quill China is best Korea. Even though the world is not that dissimilar to our Hearts of Iron 4 Kai's Rife run. You know, we basically control the same land over here, there's Russia here, there's a giant blobby Ottomans. It's like, almost inexplicable. Um, yeah, spare no expense, what is our inflation currently? Okay, we have like all the money in the universe. Let's, um, so there's not much time for the game left. There's about, um, 60 years. So the payback period for some of the buildings are just not going to be there. Um, yeah, we'll include that. Um, I'll build those. Sure. Just to buff up my, my subjects a little bit more. There you go. I don't know what the payback period is. We have lots of money, so we're a little less concerned about it. Uh, as long as maybe it makes our subjects a little bit more confident about things. Uh, Lisboa... Okay, we can get some trade. Not that I know that that actually matters that much. Um, let's get Grand Shipyards. Okay, not for subjects. But yeah, let's max this out. We'll get our um, maximum sort of force limit. A naval force limit here. Let me check my forts for the cost. Yeah, it's just a discount. Okay. Manufactories, uh, including subjects? I don't know. Those two and I'll stop. Um, but training field. Okay. Let's go without subjects first. Yeah, because I could, I can convert my money into some more dudes by building these. But these, like, this is really very little manpower. Um, if we include subjects, actually, that's not a bad idea. Let's go and build up some forts or some some things so that they can get some extra manpower um, natively to themselves. And we check that. Yeah, that's that's sort of it with my money. I guess I could buy a bunch more ships. Now, I think our next goal is going to be to declare war on Messina here, so we can go after air. Now, they're allied to quite a few people, and they are guaranteed by Great Britain, which is a little bit annoying. And we're building up some guys over here. Let's go ahead, let's recruit a new general. Yeah, all right, and you can drill. Um, let's take a look at the ledger. Military, navy, sort by total. Oh man, Great Britain has completely rebuilt their navy. 145 heavy ships? Well, we know we're going to spend all our money. Um, where is... So, I got my fleet here, which is fine. Hang out there for now. Let me break off the transports. And over here... Hundred and fifty heavies. Two hundred heavies. <laughs> I can't believe how much money we still have after building all the goddamn heavies. This is a lot of ships. Um, what we could do, like building more ships, because we're near our near force limit, naval force limit. Uh burp. heavy flagship go over there. Um it and an extra transport as well. Um, is build more lights, because we can still use them to fight. Let's get these trade fleets up to 100. That's my other trade fleet here. I don't know, that's fine. Oh, we've got a transport as well. Go away. Is that you? Yeah. Um, we're probably going to end up building even more ships than this, although right now our shipyards are going to be pretty hammered trying to build all these heavies. Um, depending on how they've spread things out, it might go everywhere. Right, you're in Japan. You're doing rebel stomping all over. It might pick up again, because they may all be running on like a minus 200 from recent uprising, or minus 20, but... Mm, oh, no, minus 100. Recent uprising, it is in there. So they might get cranky pants again. We got level 2 stability, which isn't bad. Um, we're trying to harmonize over here. Yeah, we, we probably don't want to harmonize after we're done uh, with Christianity, at least not for a while. We'll bring the harmony meter up a little bit. If and we can. Our meritocracy is pretty bad. I'd love to finish the Celestial Reforms. I don't know if we'll have time. Savoy with Vienna Gar? Vienna, Jana, Gar. What is going on over here? Also Spanish, Bengal. Okay, so we have tons of troops just lingering around over here. Doing some rebel busting. Which I guess is okay. We've got one here that's not doing anything. I guess there's no, no rebels to bust. Do I maybe want to move you to be ready to go after Messina? Now, we they were, I think, our tributaries, so we have a truce right now. Yeah, until October of 64. We can probably get someone in position. All right, let's take this 70k right here. 
Although, we have to remember, if we go after Messina, we're also going to go after Great Britain. Do we want to start something else with someone first? Mm, no, I really don't want to start the war with Great Britain until I've got more ships. Is it supply limit only 47? Ew. Okay, I'll bring I'll bring the 70k over to Bonnie, and then when they get here, I'll split them up and I'll send one to Cameroon. It'd be really handy if we had uh, Kaladabar over here, but I don't know. Maybe we'll do something with France at some point. Just to take that. Just for reasons. Okay, so everyone is busy. We got this 2k stack over here that was split off from there. Um, I'm assuming we're nowhere near a military force limit either. Uh, we don't have infinite space, because I think we're building up to 544 in air. So if I built this to another 70k stack, we'd actually be over our limit, which is interesting. Okay, and you have the full level fort, and yeah, you're building guys, but it's like one province building us so many people one at a time. So it's going to take a while for that to get maxed out. Korean Iberia. Busted up France. Huge Savoy. Big chunk of Papal France. Papal States over here. They're doing really well. Is that... Is this Venice? That, I was going to say, those are Ottoman colors. Wow. Let's, let's take a look at the religious map. Mm, Catholics did well for themselves on this run. They did real well. Helps Australia's blobbed out like crazy mad. What are the uh, HRE reforms? I mean... First two, that's pretty typical. First two, and then nothing. Let's go to military tech cost. All right. That's a thing. We have our forts up everywhere, which I guess is going to be okay. It's not like we don't have the money for it. Uh, okay, so yeah, you have arrived, and you are being attrition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break half of you off and just park you in Cameroon for a bit, which is building something, apparently. Oh, Grand Shipyard. Right, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. As I say, you shouldn't get attrition anymore, and you're not... Do I want to get another general? I think we're probably... Yeah, we're at our cap over here. You can drill, I guess. Christianity harmonization is done. Slight discount to um, uh, stability cost boosting. Hell, let's go ahead and boost it to plus three. I got extra points here, and I was going to say, yeah, I'm pretty far ahead on this. So that's okay. Do I have military power? I might use it to strengthen the government and get more meritocracy, but I guess we'll just leave it for now. Treason. Okay. Uh, so you're drilling, you're doing that. Transport is just parked over here, which I think seems fine. Uh, these singleton ships, I'm assuming, are merging up. No, wait. Oh, they might have gotten confused by some changes and some movements. No, uh, these are not the building ships. There we go. That was the ships I was moving in. Yeah, yeah. Cancel you. Merge you. And I'm going to take these two rent transports, uh, which can apparently be upgraded. But let me wait. I'm going to move you over here. Okay, yeah, no upgrade. Just some old ships. Oh, yeah, they weren't getting upgraded because they were part of my trade fleet. Actually, I wonder if the trade fleets could use upgrades. I bet it could. I just want to wait for you to be reinforced. We'll wait wait for now. Uh, an admiral has died. I mean, we'll probably want one back for our fleet of heavies here, but... We're going to be at 201. Oh, no. Because of the extra um, flagship. The math is off! I'll probably just build more ships. <laughs> I could cancel one somewhere. But I'm like, no, maybe we'll want to go over 200. We're going to have to double check where we are with um, with with Great Britain here. Because they've built like crazy. Um, they're, actually, they're pretty close to their force limit. They can't really just keep building. Whereas we totally can. I mean, we're going to be using 150 of that for our heavies. I think this is by far the biggest ship building operation I've ever done in EU4. Is this Austria? <laughs> all right, Austria. You're a long way from home. You should start a war with Austria right now. They have no troops nearby. They're all going to be black flagged. Um, I think we're still gaining prestige. Yeah, quite a bit. I'll take the prestige hit. Even though I don't really need the admin. Okay, 31. So near the end of 64, our truce with uh, Messina is going to come up, right? October, yeah. Although, that's still a lot of dudes. Um, at the very least, I, I want to let my new navy get built. So, yeah, we're not going to be able to pull the trigger against Messina because it'll pull in Great Britain. And we need to make sure we have more troops. Uh, I don't need more tariffs. Oh, my God. Ottomans. You guys are crazy. I, I mean, do I want to start something over here? Shrinkbox is actually allied with Great Britain. Um, I don't know if I have, like, the... Yeah, just imperialism.
I'm gonna declare war with you. Or on you. Move you in position here. And you're allied with Coke. So we're gonna go here. And over here. Yeah, we can do that real quick. We're gonna lose, like, a ton of manpower just to attrition doing this, but... It's gonna be fine. Shipbuilding problems? Aw, oh, come on! Plus 50%?! Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to unpause the game while this message is still there, just to delay when that kicks in. That is really rotten timing. I don't know, whichever. Alright. Declare war. Unifying China. Um, Yeah, no, I want to run this, because while I'm running it, I'm going to get more mandate. And I can still take other provinces, as far as I know. It's just I won't get the discount to non-Chinese ones. No, this is okay. Move in there. Really want to hit the button over here, but yeah. And split off and go there. Things are happening with Austria. With a ginormous Austria. Oh, this is already occupied. Okay. CB is against Great Britain. Uh, siege. Whoa. So many pop-ups. Treasure fleet. Alright, you're done here. I'm gonna go there. Although, I don't... I guess we're not gonna get the occupation of that. Oh, okay. Tributary to state declared war on someone else. That's fine. That doesn't actually involve me. I mean, I'm, I appreciate being informed. I kept abreast of the situation. But yeah. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull back over here with you and be ready to reinitiate some rebel busting commands. Just going to let the last one come down. But yeah, we don't we don't control this, which is unfortunate. Oh, I can tech up. Um, we're going to do some coring in a sec. Let me hold off. We're still quite far ahead of time. No go, because it would eat you up, and I don't have 100%, and I can't get 100%. Why is it selecting three armies? There's three people here? Oh, yeah, okay. So you keep moving that way, that's fine. And you guys group up that way. Alright, and come over here. I'll try to chase this guy down. So much attrition with our huge stacks. Now, if we just wait long enough, the length of war modifier will go away. We'll get more ticking war score as well. Probably just force march to catch them. Yeah, there we go. Boom. That's a lot of war score. So we still don't have 100%, but yeah, they're willing to go for it now. May as well take their money. Done and done and done. And then core, thump, 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 thump. still cheap as hell, but sure. Okay, turn off the force march. Send you somewhere over here. There we go. That's got a high supply limit. Excellent. Uh, and you two, I don't remember. You were somewhere over here, maybe ish. Okay, go over that way. Lovely. All right, ships are being built despite the huge delay, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, it was a short battle for the Celestial Empire, but it was a thing anyway. Um, and next time we go to war with Spain, Spanish Bengal there is going to be a lot more accessible to us. Alright. Stomp, stomp. All along the left side over here. More there. I'll get you to cover that area as well. And maybe something like this. Okay. And then you... Care of these, which are kind of cranky. Okay. None of the others are actually all that cranky. Um, you're over here. I don't have you drilling. Should I have had you drilling? I'm a little worried about the war with Great Britain suddenly starting off. So maybe not. Right, you're hanging out in Cameroon. You're going to merge out there. So how's our ship situation? Heavies are getting up there. And if I grab all my lights as well. Uh, yeah, we'll spend all the money to help. 
Gain it of nativist, lose prestige. Um, we, we do still generate prestige. I don't like the fact that we lost so much right away, but we're going to be okay. Yeah. CB's here. Really? Did we eclipse them? We eclipsed Russia. We'll work the embargo, but it really matters that much. Austria. Well, I gotta have someone. Do do do. Issue embargo. Thump. We can do some war interventions apparently, but okay. We are captain admin, so we'll grab the tech now. Now, idea group. Hmm. Um, I'm actually wondering about another military one, just to finish things off. Um, yeah, Mercs and core creation, which is nice. The autonomy change thing is nice. We don't need exploration. Influence doesn't matter. Yeah, we'll just grab another military idea. Um, I'm actually wondering about offenses. I'm gonna say go naval. You know what? Let's just let's just grab naval. And what we're gonna do? Can we put a focus on military? Oh, focus is still up here. I mean, for coring and stuff, that makes sense. Um, and maybe this will help us with challenging Great Britain. It seems reasonable to me. Okay, where are my various troops? Alright, that's you. That's you. Yeah, you can drill. I keep I keep doing this little check here to anyone who's idle, because they're not they're not going after rebels. Um You over here are rebel stomping, so I'm gonna remove your leader because you don't need a leader to rebel stomp. Instead, I'll move you over here and then drill, because you do need a leader to drill. Done and done. I have these random this random two stack over here. Spain has rivaled me. Okay, well that means I can rival the Mac. Uh, issue embargo. There you go. Gain that power projection. Uh, yeah, take the money, it's fine. Okay. This is getting bigger, which is good, because it's going to have to defend itself from the local forces. Um, well, the Navy morale bonus is going to be nice. So, how does our tech compare? So, 26, 20, or sorry, 29, 29, 28, 20 meets across the board. So, right now, having the Navy morale bonus would actually be pretty substantial. You're still waiting for a bunch more heavies. I mean, if we brought our lights, we could probably beat any army right now that Great Britain has. But I, I think waiting's still okay. I mean, we're still accruing manpower. Now, Tunis is allied to Messina, right? Yeah. This was Benin, which I think it is right there, which isn't terribly meaningful. Military power. Oh, we'll take that. Great meritocracy. Um, do we want to adjust our advisors? Let's actually do a check through everyone over here. Um, I think I like the National Unrest modifier. I guess that's fine. So there's our half price advisor here, and it's a discipline advisor. As opposed to reinforcement seed. Now that's that's much better. Excellent. Age 30, you last a good long time. Wonderful. That pleases me. Yeah, a little bit of drilling there. I do want to start... I do want to start fighting soon. What a surprise! Quill wants to start a war. Um... Interesting. Quill really does want to start a war. Do we have an admiral? No. Let's get one. Um, I could engage with just the lights just to pin them down. Thing is, the lights should be able to catch them regardless. Yeah, so they're still here. They're not moving. No, they're still there. Okay. Um, all my lights are here. And my heavies are there. Do I want to start the battle now? I don't want to let them escape. They only have 30 heavies. I think it's okay. Let me move the Admiral to here. 
All right. Uh, actually, let me move these guys here. Just in case the transports get caught out. Okay, they're still there. Oh, they're starting to move. We'll gain mandate. All right. And you're here, good. So I'm going to declare on Messina. Imperialism is fine. Allied to Morocco, Benin, and guaranteed by Great Britain, who are going to jump in. Yeah, so you're jumping in, which is fine. You're going to move there and there. Uh, you have no morale right now. Uh, you, you did. Uh, some of you do. Okay, just move in as a group then. You'll be okay. Yeah, because some of you were, were drilling. And there you go. So the battle's engaged over here. Right now, all we've got is our lights here, which is not ideal. We've lost some already. But here come the heavies. They're going to be able to retreat pretty quickly, though. Lose meritocracy, lose stability, lose mandate. Um, I'm going to take this, because I don't want to lose mandate. All right. I mean, both sides are taking heavy losses. I think we'll be okay. All right. Move to there. I'd love to do a full blockade, but yeah, with these transports, it's not really going to work. Um, I'll move you to here. We'll fully occupy Benin to get things started. Okay, Navy-wise, they're still fighting. Wow. We're definitely losing quite a lot. Now, we actually have higher morale than they do, but they have other things going on. They've captured five of my ships. Well, I guess, yeah, when we're just fighting with the lights, it sort of kind of makes sense. Dead advisor. Uh, sure, we'll take the diplomat. I don't know, he's already level 3. Just slightly more convenient. I mean, we are going to win this, right? Okay, they're almost out of heavies. We're almost out of morale. Random stray ships. See if we can throw you in. I mean, I know our light started like questionable. But oof. Alright, well, no reason to stare at that. There's not really anything I can do to affect it. Go there. Yeah, not not blockading it kind of sucks. I don't know, we might be able to sneak out here temporarily. Just there we go. Brought it from minus seven to plus seven. We might lose a bunch of transports, but it should be right. Oh, cores. Oh, yeah. Didn't actually cord from the last war. Naval battle? Okay. Our morale losses mostly come to a halt, which is what you would sort of think, given this. We still haven't captured anything. Oh, random ship. Yeah, there. Got caught out. That's not good. And economic development. Okay, so taxes and or some development moves from one place to another. Okay, you're still fine there. Okay. Come on! Break the Brits! Oh! Alright, zero captured. Uh, this is us over here. We lost 45 heavies. That is a lot of heavies. They lost, you know, more ships overall. But the heavies are the very, really valuable ones. Oh, another little mini battle. Yeah, it's something else that got caught along the way. Okay. Let's, um, detach damage, leaving us actually with a pretty decent fleet. You're going down here, so we'll chase after you. We haven't reloaded our, um, our morale yet, but we should be okay. Siege of Benin is done. All right. Ooh. I'm going to force march and try to catch you as quickly as possible. I mean, this, this guy's going to get stack wiped. Keep moving. Yeah, there you go. Now you're locked. So we'll just rush in there with the force march still on, just in case. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Take off the force march. Air's got a fort. Still, it probably makes sense for us to siege things along the way. 
Um, it'll give us vision. And we probably want to take all the territory here. Now, because there's no forts, we will be able to take it in peace deal. But, I mean, it's still probably worth occupying rather than beelining. All right, there's all the Brits there. They're parked there. Okay, we just beat them again. Let's swing back over this way. Yeah, of course. Um, and then let's move you here and here. We can eject these British ships and start destroying them. I'm going to regroup my fleet. Um, actually, I'm going to dock everything for upgrades. I'm going to move back out, and now I'm going to hit the repair again. So all the new ships will also go. Now, the downside with doing this is if something gets repaired, like, they don't join one at a time. They wait until the entire fleet is done, which may or may not be what we're looking for. Right now, I'm okay with this. And then when the battle starts, what we'll do is probably grab whoever's, um... Oh, yeah, you're doing the auto repair mission. Um, whoever's healthiest and sort of move them in and be ready to join in the battle. Okay. Right. Uh, that's that over here. Meanwhile, in Great Britain... Random Tunisian army. But I'm going to sit here. Oh, I guess there's no defensive bonus, but I, there'd be river crossings and things. So, no. Anyway, we'll, we'll stay there. be nice if that was mountainous, but Ayrshire's pretty flat. Now, any chance we can walk through Portugal? And the answer is no. I wasn't sure if someone else would have asked for access rights. I mean, they weren't just going to give it to me, that's for sure. Okay, we can move here and still be within our supply limit, which is good. There, go there. Oh, uh, I'm going to park these ships before they get caught out somewhere. Already taken a little bit of damage. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, eject this. We've got, I mean, we've got the British fleet, like, captured. Which is kind of amazing. Uh, lose mandate, no. Gain mandate, yes. I'm all about those mandates. We'd like to get involved there. I mean, I could, but we're just about to eject these guys. There you go. Three healthy ships can jump in now. Boom. There you go. At some point, they'll run down here as well. But first, they will go here. Okay, yeah. This should be a slaughter. Yes, no, maybe so. Yeah, the morale's dropping quickly. And moving again, we started with higher base morale, which is kind of incredible. Oh, we won that maybe a little sooner than I would have liked. Okay, but they're still going to be able to retreat to there, which is going to be fine. Dun, dun, dun. Um, issue a decree? Sure, we'll boost the officer core. Same as before. Okay, that's there. Man, we got a lot of battling going on all over the place. But well, that's okay. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, we're just going to keep crawling there. It'll give us vision. We'll get information. There we go. You've got defeated, and you landed there. So I'm just going to detach damage ships again. And here, too. We're going to bring those out that way. Merge you up. And then we're going to kick these guys out over here. And it is going to be very stompy. Just waiting for the 100%, and then I'm going to move some ships out of here. Well, I guess the repair tick happens at the month. So, I can grab these, move them in there, fully healthy and ready to go. Perfect, just in time for these guys to get kicked out, which is nice. Yeah, yeah, take your claims, that's fine. Uh, you can come back over here or something like that. And you are going to step on Rebels. I guess I can't set up automated rebel suppression in territory that we control but don't actually own. Okay. I'm going to take the general, move him there. We'll have to give some extra cannons. Oh, it's only level 2 forts, so no, it's going to fall really fast. Okay. CBs are changing. Spanish Congo, Spanish Central Africa. Uh, Spain's all over the place. How are my uh, vassals doing? No rebellions or anything like that. We even have an army going around here just to help suppress rebels, which is kind of nice. I've given them plenty of money. Hell, I recently built a bunch of buildings in them at the start of the uh, the video. All right. 
Um, I didn't actually check the outcome of the ship battle, so I don't even know where um, those British ships are. Because I don't think we destroyed them outright. They might just be hanging out over here or something like that. Okay. Let's go way over here. Uh, right, you don't need cannons. You're, you're good. You've got all the cannons you need, basically. Done. Come over here. You're running around a little bit. Go there. Camo, did you join? No, you didn't. Okay. But we can walk through you into Tunis. No landings there. No, that's fine. You're 40k. This is what, hills? So we would have a penalty to combat. So, well, let's not run in yet. The Siege of Air is done. Excellent. Let's move out that way. Um... We might drop off more troops here, or just go to sink the uh, the British stuff again. It might be worthwhile. They have ships here. They do have ships here. But we're not really in a position to necessarily besiege them. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to land back over here. Um, we're going to... Do I want to bring my transports? No, I don't really want the transports to go by themselves. Oh, we invest a new idea. Let's do that. Galley combat ability. Uh, we don't really use galleys, but sure, that's fine. No debate. I don't know, whichever. Uh, we don't need colonists. We want uh, less, less army decay. Whatever. Okay. They're at war with Castile. Interesting. Uh, these transports. Well, I guess we'll leave them here for now. Maybe. Do I fill off the lights? No. I think we, we go as one. We're going to come over here. We're going to meet up with these transports. We don't have much actual war score. Um, I suppose we could just peace out with men and just to start the coring. Kind of like that idea, actually. I mean, in theory, could lose us a little bit of war score, but not really. All right, core that stuff. Level eight fort. Yeah, we'll probably leave it actually. There, which we'll take. We'll have to go and smash their troops soon. Let me start with this. Uh, Battle Coast of Anon. Oh, there you go. Nice thing is, we do have a fair number of people who are acting autonomously with us. Um, I guess one of the questions is actually, what does Great Britain have here? Not much! British Peru, it is eating a little bit of territory here. They got a 40k stack built up there. How come my... Um, my vassals never do, or my colonial nations never do as much. I don't know, but we've got a stack. We're going to mark you down. Um, I'm going to... Oh, I don't have power. Never mind. What about my ruler? Mm... I mean, technically my air is a little bit better. Yeah, okay. I'll make my ruler into a general. So we've got one. A note. Oh, no more slavery. Yes, good. Excellent. Oh, I think there were still slaves over here. I think that's what happened. You got that, you got that. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge up here. And we're just going to suffer some more attrition right now, but then I'll be ready to go and hunt down these guys. Oh, failed siege. Plus, this guy's got a siege pip, I think. Two siege pips. Okay, that'll help out with that quite a bit. We're going to go from 35% to 57%. Not too shabby. Um, my big fleet, oh yeah, it's still making the long trip, and just fighting random stuff along the way. Okay, some random transports. Be nice if they're actually carrying things. Uh, is there a way to find out? I think it would show up. I think there's a thing that shows up there if the transports are carrying stuff. On the Siege of Gal. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to catch up some of these. Actually, let's Force March. Still pissed that you can't start to Force March if someone's moving. I mean, there's probably some sort of, like, well, it can lead to confusing things if you hit this and you're halfway through the move. Do we reset the move? Yada, yada, yada. I can sort of see that. Yeah, they're bunching up. That's exactly what I was trying to avoid. But if they're spreading out a little bit here... Catch something. Oh, the 11k. Perfect. 
Smashed completely. What is your tech? Oh, military 23? Okay, never mind. I didn't realize it was going to be such a joke. Like, an absolute 100% joke. Assuming we can catch them. Destroyed. Keep force marching? Sure. I'll shift click consolidate and keep the force march on. This is going to be fine. Where the hell is Hugh? Oh, right here. Oh, you're still roaming around. Okay, you go back and do this. Let's see if we can catch out some Brits here. Done. Battle of here. Excellent. You got wiped. Turn off the force march. Um, I'm going to split you in half. We'll go for a couple of the forts here. Rather than resieging all this. It doesn't really matter too much if there's no forts. Forts give the most um, war score. Uh, we could hang out over here and try to kick out. That's no, not going to work. I mostly want to collect the transport ships here. Army tradition. Lose loyalty. Gain professionalism. I don't know. Whatever. Tradition. I, I don't care right now. Okay. Have these troops here. Tunis, what was your tech? Uh, 28. Yeah, you're, you've got proper military tech here. Because I was like, maybe we can rush these guys, but not really. Mostly we're happy with just maintaining a status quo here for a little bit. Okay. A little bit of repairs. We can do some upgrades. Oh, single ship. Okay, that's fine. The problem is the closest I can grab guys to go and help against Great Britain is over here. Well, I suppose now that I got my fleet together. I guess we did get kicked out there. Um, oh, can I catch these guys? No, where are you going? Grain Coast. Up over here. I might be able to split off the, um, the lights to catch some people. Because, yeah, this isn't going to work. Brits have some holdings over here, too. On the Siege of Timbuktu. Okay, well, I am going to bring these uh, these guys back over here. Go there. You're going there, which is fine. Okay, I'd like to catch these stacks, but a little annoying to track down. Siege there. We'll go here. It's the capital. It's only capital fort. It's so level one, so it's going to go fast. We've got Hugh back again. Over there. A little battle on the way back. Uh, actually, we'll come in here and help out. Any chance to break some of the British Navy is very welcome. I'll we'll bring your fleet. Won that siege, and that is it for the fortresses. Other than that, what I'll probably do is swing back down over here to retake some land, which uh, the coring process would have stopped there. It's your time, Rat. Okay, well, we got to put a cut in here. Next episode, we're going to continue this war against Messina, and well, Great Britain is really the, the largest threat. Oh, you got Australia down there, which makes sense, of course. Meanwhile, okay, they actually have a lot of holdings here, and yeah, fully an er, um, um, occupied. Where's my guys? Here they come. Uh, no. They stopped. That's weird. I don't know why they stopped moving. Maybe there's some sort of access rules change? Because I thought I'd click them down there. Maybe not. Maybe I'd always click them up here. It's entirely possible. Alright, folks. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.